Kia ora. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to Yarns, Yarns from, from the South. south. Oh. <laughs> it sounded like we were on the radio. Oh, well. Um. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Um, my name is Sue. And I'm Vanessa. Um, and we are a crafting and knitting slow crafty podcast winging its way to you from the South Island of New Zealand in sunny old, slightly drizzly Invercargill. <laughs> um, if you're a uh, existing viewer, g'day. G'day. Good to see you again. Yeah, thank you for coming back. We appreciate that. And if you're a new viewer, hello welcome. and welcome. Settle on in. So cool. I'm looking, I don't I'm know where I'm looking. I'm trying really hard to I'll look like at the right place, there, I'm not like, sure. I to look over here, so God knows where I'm it's looking. It's very awkward. So sorry about that. Anyway, um, uh, we're here. Me. Look at that. Yeah. It's April and we're back. Yeah, look at that. I'm feeling a little bit, yeah. Mm. Yeah. But Body we're game. here, but we're, woo! Trying to get upbeat. Yeah, sorry. we're here with our, our few woo! guys. Yeah. Yeah. Keeping yeah. it real in the hood. Okay, woo! stop. Stop that. <laughs> stop that now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't know what that was. Anyway, we hope you're well. Um, and we'll just get into this. Yes, let's you do stop more dribbling in me, trying to be cool. Speak. <laughs> you speak. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, you didn't speak like that, did it? Uh, cool. So. Cool. Um, uh, we get to draw a winner, winner today. Oh, yes, we do. Yes. From, so thanks very much um, for commenting. Um, so we did a draw. Um, or oh, we're going to do a draw. But thank you for commenting about what your favourite nitty weekend would be. Yes. So should we do that first? Mm -hmm. And so just for those, if you've just tuned in for the first time to this podcast, last podcast, we... Yes. Um, That's what I was trying to do, but I'm not very good at it. <laughs> we did a giveaway because in honour of our favourite, well, the only <laughs> knitting retreat that we usually go to, which was Unwind, which is held in Dunedin every year, which wasn't held because of um, uh, COVID. So... Giveaway question was, what would be your favourite retreat or favourite knitting weekend? And we got um, lots of lovely comments. Yeah. And we got, um, and just to show you what um, the lovely winner yes. will get. So mm -hmm. we've got some beautiful yarn, which has been beautifully hand uh, dyed by uh, the beautiful Vanessa, who's sat here. Kia ora. Um, and then we've got some, just some little yummies. Um, so cool. Some nice journal and some washi tape and pens and all those kind of things. So, yay! Cool. So, all right. With the power of technology yes. to independence. <laughs> so I've got a wee number generator thingy here, yes. and we knew that there was twelve comments. Yeah. So I'm just going to push the button, and it's going to come up with the number, Whoa. and then I'll go in to see who, who, who that was. Okay. okay dun, 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 dun. Do we need a drum roll or something? And boom. The winner is number two. Number two. Number two. Okay, one moment, please, while we uh, figure out who number two was. <laughs> I think it's number two. Uh, Lucky number two. Dun, 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 and we're just going in the order of they are on, yeah, of what on, we the, can see. on the comments. Oh my gosh. All prepared. <laughs> you need to Very just singing or something. Just <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you really pleased you did it? <laughs> I'm saying you're sorry. Oh, no, she's playing it. Oh, good. good. Okay. Oh, marvellous. Lydia. Lydia Richards. Oh! That's my... And she commented, I'd be up for a trip to Shetland Festival with all the visits to friends, family, pubs and knitting that, that would involve. Lovely, and then she goes on to tell me about a gradient, uh, a pattern for the gradient, which is Odyssey Shawl by Hohi Locatelli. Thank you, Lydia. Oh, that's great. I'll save on postage because I'm seeing Lydia in two weeks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's coming to my party. She wasn't, um, uh, that was not ranked by anyone. No, that wasn't. That <laughs> wasn't. Just no, no, it just happened. No, no. Yeah. yeah, and she's my cousin's wife. But. Yay! Yay. Does she knit? Yes! Oh, fabulous. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. fantastic in a sea. Oh, wow. Yay! Yeah. That's oh, so exciting. Great. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> we did it. Yay. It happened. Good. Well done. Excellent. All right. Um, and we're up to yeah. 86 subscribers. 86 now. 86. 86. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> That's almost that's a... That's well big. <laughs> that, that's well massive. Um, that's almost a very busy party. That would be a very busy party. Yeah. 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 If we were all together. 
Um, um, and because we talked about doing a giveaway uh, when we reach 100 subscribe subscribers, so um, we're not far away from no, being there. No, we're not. Yeah. So, yeah, that's like 14. Whoa. <laughs> Meds and everything. Meds on the go. On a Saturday afternoon. Um, yeah. Cool. So, brilliant. So, Morning. I'll, I'll only... <laughs> She needs to be quiet. Uh, so um, I'll only say it once, but um, like and subscribe and share. Yay. The entire on the internet. And thank you for those that yeah. have been. Yeah, really, and really appreciate it. Yeah, um, yeah. this is super cool. Okay, let's crack right. on. We're waffling. Five minutes of dribble, but we did uh, do the winners. So yeah, that's, and that's very important. Great. Right. right. So what have you? Got. Do you want to do finished objects or yes? Finished. That's all I've got. Let's do finished objects. I've only got then. finished objects, which you've is got quite a which huge is, pile. Yeah, I have. Mm. Yeah, I have. Mm. Uh, so Vanessa, I'll show you. Please, Great. please show me. What have you finished? So, you may notice, viewers, that there is a theme. Um, as you may know, it's my party month. Woo! Mm. Oh Those goodness. who don't know, um, I'm having a Harry Potter 40th birthday party. 40? She can't be 40. She literally only looks She's 21. So young. So, I have great skin though, <laughs> I must admit. Um, however, yes, so at the end of the month, having a Harry Potter party. I'm a little bit obsessed. Um, I still don't know if I've, I've accepted how obsessed I am, but anyway, so my <laughs> knitting has been Harry Potter themed. So, um, when we last did the podcast, I was making something and I finished it. Yay. Are we ready? Are we ready? Dun, dun, dun. Is there one head? Is there two heads? No, <laughs> there's three heads. So, yeah, so I've made Fluffy from the first Harry Potter. So cool. Uh, yeah. So, it doesn't so, look like the picture, but. It yeah. looks great though. Yeah. So, yeah, so three hands. My friend described it as grotesque. But it's just really nice. Uh, <laughs> but that's the whole, whole idea. Three headed dogs aren't going to be pretty, are no, they? They're, they're not going to be scary. Worry. Yeah. And play him music and he'll go to sleep. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. So cool. cool. Uh, number one. Okay, and then number two. So, I don't know which move. Is it from movie number two? Three? Or three? I think three. Yeah, maybe three. For a so. Maybe two. <gasps> We've got a little Cornish pixie. It's very cool. Um, also, it doesn't look like that, but anyway. He looks like he should do. So. Yeah, he does look like a Cornish pixie. So this mm. is Cornish pixie from mm. uh, the Dark Arts Cross with Gilderoy Lockhart. No, maybe there's two. Oh, now I need to. Mm. Anyway, yes. Anyway. One of, the, one of them. There we go. So that he's finished. He's a, I'm done him fairly quickly. Cool. And then last night, I'm not a, not one to whip up something very quickly, but so I'm doing, I'm now on the thought I'll have enough time before the party finishes. Um, there's, so there's um, a mobile. Um, I might show you, actually. I didn't have that ready, but that's okay. That seems to be the theme of today. So um, this is the mobile. So I think it's meant to be for little people, but you know. So it's, obviously, it's got the a sorting hat and then it's got the four symbols from the four houses. Hmm. Uh, if you're not a Harry Potter fan, please switch off. <laughs> uh, no, no, you're okay. okay. Um, but this is so. We have to do yeah, yeah. So I've made the sorting hat last night. Mm. So and it, it has, is such a quick has I can't a, believe how quick it was. Yeah, oh no, here's the face. Yeah, so it's got a little face. Yeah. Mm. So I just made that last night. So I'm going to. Yeah, That's I'm really so pleased. Cool. And it was cute because last night, so I've now got just my Harry Potter kind of items just on a blanket box. And so I had um, Hedwig last night sat with the uh, look, with the sorting hat on. Aww. Aww. <laughs> kind of cute. So yeah, Yay. so that's me. Oh so, gosh. and I've just been loving making them because they're just very satisfying and quick and you're not so spending cool. ages to have something. So yeah. Oh, they look awesome. I'm really happy. And yeah, I can see how they'd be satisfying. Look there. Yeah, yeah. yeah cool. Great. So that's Yay. me. That's what, I've, that's what I've made. Oh, I've got something that isn't knitted. Is there an acquisition? No, I made it. Did you? Yeah. Oh, well, Matt, yes. Oh, oh I didn't realise you made it. Yeah, I made it. Yeah. So, hmm. um, I've been making loads of stuff. Um, and I won't bore you because you may not be into Harry Potter, but when I have the party, I'll do a video and stuff and we'll attach that somehow. But I've made lots of different things, but I've made a, oh, do you know what it wow. is? 10 points, do you know what it is? This is a pygmy puff. 
Um, so How do you we... like it? So, oh. uh, thanks for asking. Oh. Uh, so, um, I sewed a, so I sewed a circle. So two pieces of fabric, mm -hmm. and then sewed, mm -hmm. and then stuffed, mm -hmm. and then sewed, mm -hmm. and then this is Bimo. Oh. So then, which is my friend, and I just stuck them on with glue. I them. seriously thought you'd bought this. So. No, ah, yeah. no, no, made it, made well, it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I made it. Yeah, so mm. I've made all sorts. <laughs> That's okay. The spare room is just now a Harry Potter cave, but oh, now I've just dropped pygmy puff in my tea. <laughs> Not recommended, everybody. So yeah, um, and what I'm going to, this afternoon, I'm going to make some snitches. Oh, is it a knitted one as well? No, no. I, just because what I don't want is for people to go, oh, you could have done that. And last and the other day, um, Leslie's like, "Oh, have you got any snitches?" I'm like, "No, I'm not, I don't have to make a snitch." <laughs> so no, but I think I'm at the limit. I can't think I can do anything else. You've reached your hair. Because I've literally on on um, uh, Pinterest. Um, oh, the cat's coming. Oh, the cat's. Hey. Oh, here we go. There's the cat. Ah, oh, and you're all wet. Hello, <laughs> come here. And you come and cuddle with me. Um. I can't remember what I was saying. That on the Pinterest boards, I've literally seen every board for a Harry Potter party on the whole of Pinterest. What are you going to do now? Oh, Sprocket, you're not being very well behaved, are you? <laughs> Hello. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Sprocket just wanted to come say hi. Wants to say hi. So, yeah, so there we go. Anyway, to what are you. On to you. What have I. So, so. I have. It's, sorry, everyone, it's pretty boring. Um. I have finished a couple of objects, but they were close to being finished last time. So I finished the, the socks that I was working on last time. They're a lovely combination. I love color. them. Yeah. These are from Marmalade Yarn Co. It's her um, oh, we sock. Uh, what was that? It was a sock kit. So you had. Um, it's probably, <laughs> you're, you're really distracting me. <laughs> Just sit down. Thanks. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's. That was, uh, I just I can't wait to wear these. And they I, look really nice. I also finished. Oh yeah, they were, they appeared in a few podcasts. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I, so I finished them off since last time. Um, so what's different about these, this a pair of socks, is they've got the, um, they don't have an actual heel. Uh, it's just a rib that you put in. Um, so you're knitting like a big tube and then at some stage you, you just put in a rib. And that is from, it's the Magic Heel by Acorn something. Sprocket, really? <laughs> um, I'll link it down below. That's, I had it and then it went from my mind. Um, and so that just means that why I decided to make these was for the, my kids. Right, so I don't have to worry about um, them growing out of it within a week. So Unfortunately I though, I made them slight, like, it fits one of my boys just but by the time we get to cold cold winter i think he's gonna be out of them uh, so we'll see we'll see um uh, yeah for some reason i really didn't enjoy knitting this uh, yeah. it was quite a labor and i mean you would have thought that it would have been easier because of the fact that you don't have to go back and forth or you know make a heel or um yeah i don't know what it was i actually think it's just the colors they're just not my I just wanted to use up stash, it was sitting there, and it just didn't bring me joy. So next time, and I think I still will try and do another one um, that actually fits properly um, for both boys, but I think I'll just choose a, a yarn that um, I enjoy a bit more. So anyway, those are just my two finished objects. Very boring. Socks, socks, more socks. Oh, lovely. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What have you been working on, Sue? Nothing. <laughs> well, I finished. Well, I finished the hat last night, so um, yeah. I'm going to make um, Raven claws. Um, is it an eagle or a raven? Probably a raven. Will it? Would it mean Raven claw? I would imagine. Yes. It is. Oh, that's an eagle. An eagle. Raven claw eagle. Raven claw eagle. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So I'm going to do that today. Today. Watch so, this space. Watch this space. Mm. Aye. Mm. So that's it. Just imagine. All the people. Okay, stop. All right. Okay. Um, what have I been working on? What have you been working on, Vanessa? <laughs> well, uh, would you believe that I uh, have been working on more socks? Oh. <laughs> no. Okay. 
Oh so, my goodness. Ta-da. Oh my giddy aunt. I know. Uh, I'm just about at the uh, toe. Are these black? No. Ah. no. So this, when I dyed up this skein. Oh yes, yeah, sorry. I dyed two um, and decided to, you, you know, did. which one looks nice at and that's to give away. And it, uh, the extra skein was just sitting on my table and I had finished these guys. And so that was the nearest thing that I could reach to start knitting. So I thought I'd knit myself a pair as well. So yeah, same as I always do, just a vanilla sock cuff down, um, heel, partridge, eye of partridge heel, flap and gusset, and a star toe. That's just my go-to. <laughs> Have you ever done a toe-up? Because I know some yeah. people prefer a toe-up, but now my cousin prefers yeah. to prefer toe-ups. I have done that in the past, but I, it doesn't, um, okay. I don't know, I don't know. I was watching, um, uh, Earth Tones Girl, she's got a podcast, Denise, she's over in America, and she has a podcast and she's all about the socks. Um, and she, she's she got, um, what do you call them? Tutorials and she does like no fear knitting classes um, for socks. Um, and she's at, currently just doing um, a few uh, different heels than she usually does. And it got me thinking, actually I need to get out of my um, I don't think it's a rut, but I, I think if you knit something too often, you know, it'll become a rut. So I need to start changing things up a little bit so I don't, because mm. I love having homemade socks, but I don't want to get to that stage where I'm like, oh, I don't even want to knit yeah, this again. No. So um, I think the next time, the next uh, pair of socks I do, I'll change something up, up a bit and do like a different heel or a different, or maybe do toe up again. I've done a toe up before. What went wrong? I think I just... I measured wrong, so it became too big, and then it was harder to um, in the foot, so oh, it was, was harder it? to adjust. Yeah, I like cuff down so that I can, if I get it a bit wrong, I, it's, it's easy enough to just sort of rip back a bit and right. either add or take off. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Anyway, that's what I've been working on. Right. Cool. What have you been reading? Oh, acquisitions. Oh, acquisitions. I, well, <laughs> I haven't been acquis acquisizing I don't have any, either. <laughs> any, um, any knitting. Or oh. it's just, it was just basically stuff for Harry Potter. So. I just remembered, glanced over here and remembered that I have been working on something else. Oh, yeah. Um, doo -doo -doo. Oh. I'm just on Thursday night with our knitting group, knitting spinning group. Um, I finally brought my spinning wheel along. Oh, she was actually a spinning uh, group. Our initial, yeah, our crafty gathering used to be called the spinning group and everyone used to bring the spinning wheels and then it just got i don't know just turned into a knitting group because it's far easier to bring knitting than spinning but um yeah i thought i would bring mine along and try and get spinning going again because i never i never get on my wheel um you used to do all. a lot i did and then it just sort of fell by, by the way so yeah so i um managed to spin up that's this really nice on thursday yeah so this um fiber is Alpaca Merino. I can't remember the blend. And they might, you know, there's no silk in this one. Um, it, I bought it from Jan Gibbs, who is a local um, crafty, amazing person who has a wee shop at the back of her house here in Invercargill. <clears throat> and she gets a lot of her, her fibre and things from Ashford's up in Ashburton, and then she over dyes it. So, um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I think I'll just make it into a hat. But it was just really just about getting back into the um, swing of spinning. So I got you some fibre for Christmas. You did, yeah. Be interested to know what that looks like. Mm. Yeah. One day, in about twenty years, I'll get to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, cool. Cool. Uh, so we haven't bought anything. Nope. No. Okay. Nope. Cool. Uh, what have we been? Oh, what have you been reading? Reading corner. I know. Reading corner. Reading <laughs> corner. Really good. Yeah. Yeah. And, and other stuff, but yeah, and other things. Yes. Um. So <laughs> good. Uh. So I wrote it down. Yeah. So I. I've got loads of notebooks, but I didn't want to actually open a notebook, and I couldn't find a piece of paper, so I wrote my book down on a scrappy <laughs> bit of newspaper. So um, 
I was reading the Magpie Murder, one of the Magpie Murder ones. Was it Magpie Murders? Or, no, the Moonflower. Flower. Yes, it sounds. Oh, I ended up going a bit crap. Ah. So, mm. I'm sorry if you got it. <laughs> but, uh, so, I didn't really like it in the end. So, um, but then my good old fave, Nancy Warren, um, has, she just must be loving lockdown because I think she's just been going mm-hmm. yeah, so, um, so Nancy Warren does a, lots of different kind of series just very easy kind of um, generally is a theme she, I think she used to do like Mills and Boone style but now she's gone off mm. into uh, witches and vampires mm. um, so and um, just another one of the series from the great witches um, ba- the great British which is baking show, as you do. So it's just a take on the Great British Bake Off, but with witches. But not everybody is a witch, and there's only and yeah. Okay. And she's a witch who can talk to ghosts, and she was um, uh, left in a box at a bakery when she was born. So she's trying to look for a mother, and she's found out that she's she's a she's a water witch. Oh. Yeah. So anyway. Um, and I really like it, and it's based in some kind of village in the south of England, and it's just drivel. But um, and I'm it's on book nice, five, but it's just, oh, I just <clears throat> feel relaxed and just feel at home, and it's just lovely. Um, and I'm currently reading Blood, Sweat, and Tears, but tears spelt as in like the tears of a cake. Nice, good play on words. Ah, clever. Yeah, so I'm book five. And where do you get your books um, from? Audible? Right. So I'm a I'm a um, listen reader, yes. So I listen to them um, at night time, mm. and when they help me stop worrying about things, so mm. I just listen to her. So yes, bad. She's very the narrator's a horrendous accent. Ah, don't it, get, mm. Mm, don't get, um, don't get offended. Right. But yeah, that's what I've been reading cool. and watching. Mm. Well, I've been going a bit old school. I've been mm. old school because we're watching a lot of Friends. We've been watching Twenty Four. Ah, oh, yes. With yeah. old with Keith, uh, Keith, uh, Keith Sutherland. Sutherland. Yeah. yeah, with old um, Jack Bauer. Yes. Yes. So, do you know how they are? Tell me. Well, I will. <laughs> Tell me, you do. <laughs> oh, sprocket. Sprocket. Oh, oh, my goodness. What are you doing? He's like, oh. Mm. Um, over 20 years. What? 20 years. Wow. Oh. And, well, we're on series three. We've been um, watching them. And, um... We're funny, Jim and I just like, uh, mm, well, I take, we've decided um, CTU are really bad at um, uh, recruitment because all the agents seem to be like dodgy. Oh, uh, right. right. <laughs> so if you don't know, so the premise is, it's like, so it's very American and um, basically there's this agent called Jack Bauer who they've done about eight or nine series and then it stopped about 10 years ago and basically there's always some kind of terrorist thing happening in america and there's like a ctu which is counter it's like counterintelligent unit and basically they work very closely with homeland and the presidents i've got seen to like hotline to the president all the time and jack bauer's a bit of a rogue agent who basically breaks all the rules but always saves the day but he's kind of um, nice caring man who could chop someone's fingers off in order to get some <laughs> some uh, details from them. So right. yeah, and it's and, but it's it's twenty four because each hour each episode is an hour of that twenty four hours. Ah, that's the premise. Okay. Sorry, I'm not good at explaining today. Right, it's come. Yeah. Um. Anyway, but yeah, we've just been just because it's now it's just it's a wee bit dated just with the technology mm. and stuff and the phones mm. and we're just taking the taking the mic a little bit and kind of say oh what well, taking the flip tops yeah, yeah. Flip tops. yeah. <laughs> and i remember i had an ex-boyfriend who had one of their phones that jack's got and, uh. like, and it was the ringtone <laughs> that is so annoying <laughs> but uh, yeah so we think they've got bad recruitment we also think they take a very long time to trace a phone call but like uh. you watch it on the other tv programs they don't do it so quickly yeah, so that must be correct <laughs> well yeah that's right because <laughs> obviously all of our references from <laughs> tv from tv show <laughs> yeah so anyway so that's what we've been mainly watching awesome what have you been reading and watching? Well, I just happened to have got an actual, my, book. I act, an actual an book. An actual book. Um, I can do do that sometimes. Right, so this book is called Married to a Bedouin. Wow. And it's by Marguerite Van Gilder Um, It's been sitting in my 
how I like to call bookshelf um, for um, seven or eight years. Wow. Um, I had my grandfather living with me for what, like 10 months or so, and he got it from a second hand shop. And so it's been sat there for that long. Um, so it's about a, a Kiwi girl um, back in the 70s when I was traveling around um, the Middle East and ended up marrying a guy. I, gosh, that's terrible. I can't actually. In Jordan, the, yeah, <laughs> that's where it's set. So it's just her um, her memoirs um, about living over there, and she um, was working in a clinic there, and yeah, it's, it's really quite fascinating. Um, and yeah, so that's what I've been reading. Really cool. good. Nice. It's not too tricky, but it's still really interesting. So yeah, nice. Read. And watching wise, not a lot really. I mean. Mark and I, it's hard because Mark and I have very, very different tastes. Off in the way. Yeah, though. yeah. And yeah. so so to find one that we both like is tricky. But then once we get on something we like, we um, become addicted and, you know, have to watch it all the time. But just, it's been, yeah, we had just finished, you know, we came out of Easter uh, last weekend and we were, we were away for that. So we actually haven't seen much TV, really. I'm just thinking of her because Sprocket is just making yourself Killed very himself comfortable on um, Vanessa's side. It's fine, Sprocket, it's fine. Um, it's fine. No, oh, I'm not dear. even worried about it, it's fine. Um, oh, I just had a flash of something. Oh, oh that's right. Um, just wanted to also, just in case anyone was like hanging on the edge of their seats from last time, wondering if they ever got your um, shawl finished. Oh, yeah. And I did. I completed yes. it probably about a week later. Yes. Yeah. And it's in my it's in my bedroom. I could have go get it, but no. Yeah. Which I need to wash and block. Yeah, yeah, it's lovely. Mm. But I need to wash them. So once I've washed and block, I'll bring it. Oh, that'd be exciting. I'll bring it next time. Yay! <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just there going, I must do. <laughs> But I haven't. So yeah, that's, that is a super fast. Well, progress. we waffled for a lot, so we? let's be honest. Not a lot of knitting we content. Yeah, not a lot of winning no. content, but winners and yeah. And we, uh, it's important for us to like we haven't forgotten you, and we love yeah we yeah. Oh, so I was going to say, oh, we need to get Lydia's address so that we can send it. But then I remembered that actually she's no. going to be here. So. Yeah, I'm not going to do that because she's. I'm literally going to see her in two weeks. Sorry. Lydia. So um. I guess the next time that we podcast will be after Sue's birthday, so we will have some footage of the um, epicness that that will be. Yeah, her. and Vanessa is going to help is helping with the setup. I'm going to try and keep it closed. Mm. I'll try close uh, to the public. Close to the public <laughs> until um, yeah. yeah so yeah, Vanessa is going to help me, and the, yeah, this is not really for the podcast, but the the marquee lady. I don't think I really like it. She's like she might be watching. She might be. Watching. <laughs> I'm not going to say her name just in case. <laughs> but the marquee lady, she's like, it's just be, I said, well, when when will the marquee be delivered? And I'm, I know I'm probably asking things a bit early, but I've been thinking about this for 18 months. I don't get excited very often. <laughs> Vanessa can count to this. I'm quite kind of mm -hmm. English. Yeah, I am. <laughs> and I, but I'm quite. This is me being kind of excited. And so that I like, oh, okay, when will it be delivered? Sometime on the Friday. Cool. <laughs> And he, can you give me a effing clue? <laughs> it's like, when well, on the Friday? And I just went, it would be help that's really good. It would be helpful if any mon even Monday. No, is it on the morning right. or the afternoon, please? Because yeah. that's a whole. Mm. We're waiting for a marquee to be, getting a marquee to be put up. Mm. Things to do, lady. And do you not know what the whole of Hogwarts to <laughs> put in that marquee? Goodness me. Mm. I was waiting for when they're, when they're interested. What happens if they drop it off at six at night or something? Uh, you know I mean? Well, I'm gonna have to work in, <laughs> into the. <laughs> you're gonna have to work into the night. Yeah. Well, we can Yay. do it on the Saturday as well. So right. there's gonna be lots of people popping in yeah, and stuff. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. Anyway, Ooh. that anyway. was just waffle. You didn't really need to know that. Right. Well. Oh, all right. Anything else you want to say? Talk about any deep and meaningful or uh, amazing no. thoughts on life? No. <laughs> Good. No, right. it's Very raining. Good. It's raining. And we don't. And I don't have a gutter. I've only got yeah, half house and got a gutter. That's distracting me. Yeah. So oh, this rain is just true because the window is right behind yeah. you guys, and we can see the rain. And um, I'm a bit annoyed, but hopefully it's getting done tomorrow. Oh, how? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I won't ask all these questions. Once again, you probably because you don't that. really need to know. No. But we'll talk about that later. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, 
well, thanks, thanks for sticking around yeah thanks us. very much we really appreciate it mm -hmm. and um yeah we'll have some more knitting content next promise. time promise i think i said it every time yeah <laughs> okay right. all right great see to see it. you guys have a wonderful um weekend wherever you are in the world uh kaki, te, kaki yeah. see you later